Okay, great, so we're here, number one. What is my number one CQB airsoft gun? We've looked at pistols, we've looked at shotguns, SMGs, 416s, we just had 15, 1600 pounds worth of guns on the table, but what's better than those? Well, the truth is in a CQB environment, you need reliability, you need to count on the gun that you've got, and therefore, five, 600 pound prima donna guns tend to go wrong. Lots of upgrades in things tend to go wrong, in my experience. So I want something basic and reliable. I want something more like a Firehawk, probably. So what have I gone for? Is it the, the 416D? No, it's not. As a kid growing up, one of the things I remember seeing is the Embassy Siege in London and the British SAS stormed the building with this amazing piece of German kit that the British Army didn't normally have. It was made by Heckler and Koch, and it was an MP5. And I think for a CQB environment, MP5s, that's what they're made for. They're perfect for that situation. But which one? Do you go for an AAG? Do you have gas? Is it G&G? &G? Is it Tokyo Marie? Do you need to spend a lot of money on it? There's so many versions of it. Which one do you have? So one of the ones I like from G&G &G is the Top Tech, the Advanced Style Gun. It's TGM. A5 is this particular model. Um, you don't have to have it with this UMP G36 style fold-over stock. You can have it with a slide-in-and-out stock. But it's got some rail on it, which is very useful. Um, I've just got a torch grip on here. I can put a scope onto it. It's an AEG. It's got blowback, which is great. Proper cocking handle, which is... Ooh, that feels really good. Is this my number one gun? No, it's not. You've got a, got a 200 round high cap magazine, that actually does me for most games if I'm on single shot throughout the game. It's got a sling attachment onto it. You can have a, a twin stack magazine on it if you want to. Uh, the magazine pouches are cheap, they come in any colour, they go with any kit. But that's not my favourite one. You can change the stock, have a solid stock. I saw Rick Grimes from Walking Dead using one of these in the last series. This is my number one gun. This is my favorite indoors CQB style gun. And it's the, the US Navy SEAL SD6, or the TGM A6, as G&G &G call it. And it's absolutely fantastic. You've got a built-in suppressor, it's blowback, the cocking handle works. You can put a scope on it, but you're not gonna get a torch or a grip. It makes it very simple, and simple is good in CQB. The stock folds in like the the honey badgers or other guns that we see that are very popular at the moment. It's a really good motor inside, it's a really good gearbox from g, &G. it's a type ball barrel inside. Oh, it sounds great, it's a suppressor on the front end, really makes it sound super. And it's quite loud. Oh, super gun. This is my favourite number one gun and it's just a personal choice based on my experience and there's 101 other guns out there you can like anything you want you might want an AK for example you might want an M4 um, oh, there's all kinds of things the, the Evo at the moment is an amazing popular gun but it doesn't feel very real to me it's very small very plastic this to me feels like a real CQB gun and from years of experience it's never let me down this is really battered this gun it's hit so many walls smashed into doorways in the dark and been dropped and it's still going so get a g and g mp5 is my advice cheap batteries cheap magazines cheap pouches but it's reliable and it's great for cqb so thank you for watching this video please like it please comment it please share on it and we hope to be doing more top five videos soon so we appreciate your feedback and thanks for watching the team punch channel bye bye i love this gun it's my favorite can i do a whole video on these thanks for watching